NBC News foreign correspondent Janice Mackey Freyer spoke exclusively with the U.S. ambassador to China, Nick Burns. And Janice is live for us now from Beijing. Janice, um, Nick Burns is you know, also signaling, uh, trying for an opening to China, but so far China doesn't seem to be listening. Well, trying is the key word there, Andrea. U.S. Ambassador uh, Nicholas Burns uh, told me that the U.S. is ready to talk to China, but China doesn't seem interested in giving any high-level access to U.S. officials. And that includes a phone call between President Biden and China's Xi Jinping, which has been talked about since February in the fallout of that Chinese balloon being shot down. As well, there is now no timeline to reschedule that canceled visit of Secretary of State Blinken. Now, Ambassador Burns made these comments to me in an interview, and among the clearest signals yet that this administration is trying uh, to revive any dialogue at any level with China and isn't having much luck. Uh, there's also uh, what we've noticed uh, publicly and in private conversations with U.S. officials, a change in, in the language, a tempering of the language around China, in particular when it comes to China's desire to play a role of mediator in Ukraine. Here's more of what Ambassador Burns had to say. We have concerns that our Secretary of State has expressed Secretary Blinken about whether or not China is going to provide lethal military assistance to Russia for its illegal war in Ukraine. Have you seen evidence of that? We've not seen evidence of that, but we're watching very carefully. We have a difference of opinion there. We see China essentially supporting Russia in this war. Uh, we have differences of opinion on Taiwan. We need to have a stable relationship. You can achieve that sometimes, and we hope to in this case, by having high-level cabinet uh, conversations, by having full access for all of our diplomats here in China, and that's what we're arguing for. Arguing for, they're arguing for access, and there's a knock-on effect to this, Andrea. Uh, not only do we have this chill uh, between U.S. and Chinese officials, but uh, there are no American CEOs uh, who are visiting China, very few of them, no visiting members of Congress, and the student numbers have been gutted. A decade ago, 14,000 American students were studying here in China. Today, there are only 350. And you compare that to 295,000 Chinese students who are studying in the U.S. So we're seeing this knock-on effect of this chill in U.S.-China relations. And there's no indication from either side on when things are going to warm. Andrea? No, exactly. And uh, your reporting is, is just so great, Janice Mackey Freyer. It's great to have you there and have the access and have that interview. Um, Secretary Kerry, former Secretary Kerry, was on the show just a week and a half or so ago and said that even his climate conversations have been a trip to China to talk with his counterpart, with whom he's very friendly, has been canceled on, of course, the most urgent crisis of all, um, climate change. Janice Mackey-Freyer in Beijing.